with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the, world, and the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is a famous story about an atheist who did not, obviously did not believe in God and um, went on kind of a sightseeing tour of Rome. And this atheist went to church after church after church and finally, at the end of the trip, went to St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. And upon entering the basilica and seeing the beauty of the church, converted instantly, said, this beauty reflects the beauty of God, and I now believe. It's easy for us to see God in the grandiose and in the beautiful, in places like St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. And yet, Jesus wasn't born in St. Peter's in Rome. He wasn't born in a church at all. He was born in a manger. Jesus didn't come as this triumphant king that the people were expecting. He came instead as a baby. It's easy for us to see God working in the grandiose, in the beautiful, and God does indeed work in places like St. Peter's in Rome. But God also works in places like Bethlehem, in places that are ordinary, in places that are small. I think from this fact we could take two lessons. The first, is that in our ministry, no matter how small or humble or insignificant it may, it may seem, God is there. It's easy sometimes to get discouraged because we have this call, this great call from God to do great things, to, to be a hero, as the vocation poster says. And yet so often being a hero is, is dull or isn't as exciting as we would have thought. And yet we need to keep in mind that God is still working in those, in those circumstances, in those humble circumstances, just like here in Bethlehem. And the second point is that God comes to us every day in a humble way. We might come to this pilgrimage hoping for a large and grandiose experience, and we might forget that in every Mass, in the Holy Eucharist, God comes to us. And so we need to open our hearts to see not only God in the grandiose, in the beautiful, 
but also things that are small and ordinary.